Hi everyone, my name is Angie. I'm a volunteer crisis counselor on the crisis text line and I'm here today to talk to you all about back to school season as well as some tips and tricks that I've learned over the years as a current student myself and a crisis counselor to manage stress and anxiety during this time. So my first tip is to practice work-life balance and that looks different for everyone. Uh, school is so much more than just academics. You're finding out who you are in school, you're forming friendships and relationships with people, you're learning how to study best and live best. And so it's important to me to take time out of my day, out of my schedule to practice self-care. So for me personally, this looked like dance. Um, dance is a huge outlet for me. I was on my school's dance team and that was a great way to exercise and um, let off steam. Playing music was another big thing for me to help make me feel more like a person overall and not just a student. My second tip is to identify your support system. Support systems can look different for everyone. It can be family, friends, counselors, advisors, especially if you're in school and you have access to academic advisors, and then also the crisis text line. So we're here for you 24 seven. If you ever want to talk or gain support from someone, all you have to do is text school to 741741. If you want access to other resources, crisistextline.org has a lot of great back to school resources that are available right now. And the last quick tip that I have for you all is to talk about it, to talk to someone, reach out to someone in your circle to talk about what you're going through. I know how isolating sometimes school can be. Your feelings are valid and they're common and sometimes just talking to someone else about it can be super helpful and super productive. I hope these quick tips and tricks were helpful for you all. I know back to school season can be scary, but I have faith that you all will do amazing and I'm wishing you all a great school year.